I don't get it. Why didn't you just give Courtney the check yourself? Can't. Why? She'd turn it down? It's a long story. Does it bother you to be shut out of her life? It's better this way, all right? Is that why you're in such a rush to get me home from the hospital? Because you wanted to get away from court? What are you talking about? You were tired. You passed out on the couch as soon as we got home. You are avoiding the question right now. You're keeping your distance from Courtney because it hurts you too much to see her. So what caused Are you always like this? I mean, if someone says something that makes you uncomfortable, you just ignore them I'm like it never happened? Then admit that you're avoiding Courtney because you have feelings for her. What I feel doesn't matter. Courtney and I are over. Yeah, but you love each other. Enough to spend the rest of your lives together until somehow or other you manage to mangle it up, just like Sonny and Carly Well, they had, their own, they had their reasons. Uh, everybody does, Jason. How often do people really live happily ever after? Practically never, as far as I can tell. Which is why I stayed away from love, why I tried to resist Sonny, and look what happened to me because I couldn't. I bet you wish you worked harder to get me to walk away. I don't wish for things. There's no point. I see. Don't waste time thinking about what you almost had or hoping for something more. Deal with reality and move on, right? That's right. See, this is why we can do this, Jason. This is why you can live with me, why you can pretend to be baby's father, and why Sonny is okay with this. All three of us know it won't compromise you. Because you'll never love me. You know, Courtney's a good person. Where did that come from? Well, it's just I ran into her in the park, and she was actually really nice to me and caring. She made me realize what a miracle it is to be carrying this child. And Courtney told me how lucky this baby was to have you as a father. Jason, I know I've been pushing myself too hard, and part of me has been in denial about this pregnancy, maybe because I didn't expect it. But I realize now that I have to start putting this baby first and not myself. You know, you can chime in anytime you want here. I just keep talking Nothing and talking. Yeah. Okay, well then why don't you answer one question then? Do you think you and Courtney would still be together if you hadn't lost your baby? You'd be happy. What about you, Jason? How happy are you going to be if she's with someone else? What, what's the point of this? The point is to give you a chance to rethink this whole marriage okay, idea. I want to tell Courtney that you and I were getting married and she was kissing Jax. All right? Obviously, she's moving on. Now, I want to be a father to this baby. I want to give I know, name. I, I want know, I know, I know, and you're trying to do the right thing. I'll, I'm just saying that. Don't say anything. Just, just go out and take a walk or something, Sam. We keep going around and around, and nothing's going to change. Okay, you and your baby need me, and I want to take care of you. That's it. Well, the thing is, I don't want to commit to this. Only for you to figure out that you're miserable and you want Courtney back, that's all. That's not, not going to happen. Mm -hmm.